सो हेलो अगेन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम लार्जेस्ट वाई फ्रॉम टूडेज कॉन्टेस्ट स्टार्टस्ट एटी सिक्स डिविजन टू सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट वी आर गिवन अरे ए ऑफ एन नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स एंड इट इज गारंटेड दैट द अरे ए कंटेन्स एटलीस्ट टू डिस्टिंक्ट इंटीजर्स राइट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी आर ऑल्सो गिवन इंटीजर एक्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड for each y from 0 to x if we create a array b such that b of i is a of i we have to find the largest y such that the b contains at least two distinct elements we will see the question and the problem on the sketch pad to get better clarity so first we are having n as 3 x as 5 and the elements as 1 1 and 2 right and we are taking the y as 5 because uh, we it we, we will see it bit wise because every question can be solved by bit wise if it is having or xor and such like operations another is to so we have to find a uh, element less than or equal to 5 right y should be Less than or equal to five. Okay, so what if if we so we have to find three bits. What if if we make this bit as one? It is six now. It is still it is four. It is still less than five. Uh, if we make this as one. it is 6 so we can't do this so we have to make this zero again if we make as 1 so this will be 5 and performing the xor it will get uh 1 this will be zero this will be 1 this will be 1 this will be zero this will be 1 this will be 1 this will be 1 this will be 1 so we have to do distinct integers so answer in this case is 5 so moving on to the logic and the explanation of the problem so this was a easy to medium level problem and the prerequisites to solve this problem was none only some observation was required so moving on to the solution c we are given a uh, index x integer x it will have some bits it is having up to 29 bits adds mention in the question it bit will have some value let us take 00110110 and 1 right now we have to find an integer y which is less than or equal to x now first observation so we have to find a integer less than or equal to x so see we can't make a bit having value 0 to 1 because increasing the particular bit value will increase the number x because now if x is this particular element and increasing a particular jth index will have the value x as x is equal to x plus it will raise to the 2 to the power that particular jth element so we can't choose to in set the value of unset bit so this is not allowed if we suppose increase this value also means set this particular bit then also the x will be the y will be greater than x so now if we unset a particular number 1 that is if we make this as 0 then x will be always less than or equal to y will be always less than or equal to x because y will have the value x minus 2 to the power j that particular element we are setting as zero so the first observation here is that if we want element less than or equal to zero only we can unset a particular set bit right this was the first observation now 
suppose we are given three elements having three bits all the remaining bits are zero going on to the first question on first sample test case only that is one what is one one and two one this is one in binary representation and this is two and we have to find integer x of three bit only right also we can't set a zeroth bit that i have already told you now uh, we have to focus on that thing that the problem states it is guaranteed that at least two elements are distinct in the given array a right so if we output zero that is if we take x as zero then xoring the all the elements will zero will return to the same element and the same array will have two distinct elements so the minimum value of the array the minimum value of y is zero right means there is at least one number which will satisfy our condition now see the bitwise logic see the first bit that is zero this is one this is the second bit right so if these are one one and zero okay if these are one one and zero so we have here two options in the this is our y so we have two options here whether to put zero or one we also have x why we are focusing on x that i already told you that we can only change the value of zero to one we can't change the value of zero to one we can only change the value of one to zero right if it is zero we can we have to remain it zero right so we have one one and zero now we have given x in this problem as phi that is one zero one now the current index is one we can change it to zero okay so now uh, it has two elements which are set in this this is this is first one this is second one this is third one right so we have two such numbers which are having the set num set values in the zeroth bit and one value which is unset in the zeroth bit right so now if we give the y value as zero so there will be two numbers which will be distinct why because this will be xor with this and the first two numbers will have one in this particular jth position and the last number which will be having zero in jth position which will make this there which guarantees that there will be two distinct integers in the array after performing this is our uh, array c and in the seat array there will be at least two distinct integer because these are varying in the jth position uh, because if suppose all the next integers are same suppose they are 0 0 only but uh, this the representation of these two are 1 and 1 and the representation of this is 0 so what we are observing here is that if any of the jth position having two different values then there will be at least two different elements so if we give 0 at this position so we are pretty much sure that there will be two different numbers in the final output right I, I hope you are here with me so if we give 0 so there will be at least two integers so why not give 1 and 1 to the left remaining integers so that it will be uh, greatest element because we have to find uh, maximum y but we can't do this because 6 is 
greater than five so what we can do we can remain the whole rest of the digit and only set the particular uh, first digit to zero right so one zero zero will give the output which will have two distinct elements right but this is for the case when we have changed a particular bit there is another possibility that what if we didn't change the bits and in initially performing operation on x only it is giving two distinct element in in this case the y is equal to x that is phi is giving us as the largest possible value which will be converting our c array having two distinct element so there are two options first is find if x is satisfying our condition not if it is satisfying then output x only or find a y so finding y what we can do i will take another example that is 1 1 and 3 and x is 3 so write in binary and we have to find 3 bits and write x here x is 3 that is 0 1 and 1 this is x and this is y and this is 1 1 and 3 all are 0 now if first we will find whether x is equal to 3 is satisfying our condition or not so performing operation or with 3 will give 3 this will also give 3 this will also give 3 right yeah so performing operation at x is equal to 3 uh, giving us same element it is not having more than two distinct elements so it will fail for x, x is equal to 3 so we have to find y which will be less than x so in the second condition we have to change a single bit which is 1 to 0 so we have to do this operation there is no option we can do so we have to change a set bit to unset oh so see here and one one and one so what if i provide zero here see if i set this particular y bit as zero then still the after performing xor at this position they will have same and same value at this particular bit so this will not useful for us because we want such that it will have two different values because after XORing it will become if it will give two different values so giving zero will not useful here so why not give one here because we have to find a greater number then x now here we are finding our answer because uh, there are two distinct bits here so if we set value 1 it will not work because setting value 1 will set all the particular bits here to 1 in the output array so setting value 0 here will make these two particular bits as 0 and this one particular bit as 1 in the output so we will set 0 here and remaining will be as it is and this will be our final y so this was the solution of this problem if you want another explanation of this particular array I will show you
the numbers are 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, there are 5 numbers. So, we just have to prove why our algorithm is working. Right? So, this is x, which is 10. So, it will have 4 numbers. Right? Uh, binary projection of 10 is it is this. So, 1010. Zero, one, zero. So, first bit is 0 and 2 3 4 5 and 5 now see at the first position only there are two distinct elements in the first bit right so now first we have to check whether x is satisfying our condition or not so x is equal to 10 is satisfying so here we will print x but uh, let us consider that x is not satisfying our condition then what will happen see here the there are two distinct elements so see if x is not satisfying then only we have one chance that we can set a particular if the particular bit is 1 we can make it to 0 right so that and at this at this position there should be two distinct element because at this element there are two distinct element right and if this position having two distinct element and it if it is zero then we can directly put zero and remaining numbers the remaining bits of this x as it is but if it is one suppose this was one so we have to change this to zero and then make all the numbers as it is there is another case just like see if this is x we have to find a y that is less than equal to x so the x which will be having the msb as one this will also start from here only so suppose this is our x now we have to find y suppose at this position only the numbers are vary in the vector means there are two distinct bits at this particular index it's this particular bit value now what we can do if this particular j index having two particular bit value then we can unset this particular number that is make it to zero and remaining as it is that what i said but there is some twist here so why not make this as one because it will increase the value of one and we are also satisfying our condition why we are setting satisfy our condition because we are having we are have change this value of bit and it is satisfying the condition of having two distinct value in the array c and increasing this value will make the increase the value of y and it will be still remain than x because there is also a property of a bitwise that if suppose this is a number and if this is 1 then although we will set all these numbers so this is 0 1 2 3 so 2 to the power 3 will be always greater than strictly greater than 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0 so what i was saying that here we have unset the value of 1 right so what we will do we will set all the previous value to 1 because it will be still less than it and the right side value left side value will be as it is because if we increase this value it will be again greater than x that we don't want 
but here what i am telling that i am in setting this unsetting this one value to zero in the output array so we can make all the right side bits as one because although we have decreased the 2 to the power 3 we can increase to 2 to the power 0 to the power 1 it will be 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which is still less than 2 to the power 3 so this was all about the solution if you have enough knowledge of bitwise you can easily solve the problem i will show you the code by the way how i have implemented this I have taken n and x as input and created a vector and taken vector as input after I have created a b vector for finding the first condition whether it is satisfying for the first x or not if it is satisfying for the first x I have created a map and putting all the value of x or of v of i and x and if the size of map is greater than 1, I will return printing the value of x. Otherwise, I will iterate from 0th index to the last index, right? And I have created a vector to add. I will show you why I have created this particular variable. And if the particular value of 2 to the power j is greater than the x, means this, the its leftmost bit was the msb then we will break from it otherwise we will find how many numbers at this particular bit are there if it is not zero if it is not n then it means that there are two distinct uh, there are set bits also and there are unset bits also at that particular jth position if there are so now Pay attention. So, if there are uh, different num, I mean, there are set bits and there are unsent bits. So, there are two values. If this particular bit of x is one or not. If this particular bit is one, what we have to do? We have to change this particular one to zero. Right because making it 1 will make all the values of this particular bit of v of i to 1 in the output array that we don't want making it 0 will remain all the values as as it is and it will make at least two different values in the output array so if the particular value in the x array is set then we will decrement that particular 2 to the power j bit and add all these numbers these numbers i have explained it earlier and then print x otherwise if particular bit is zero then we don't need to do anything because it is already zero and when we will take a or operation with it it will have two different it will have set bits and unset bits and it will guarantee that there will be two different numbers at the end but this we have to add in the this condition also right and we are adding these two add variable when all are zero because suppose at this position all are zero so we will get count as 0 because there is no set bit and in the x it was 0 so we have to make this 0 value to 1 right and in the end I am if there is no value it is satisfying our condition then we are outputting 0 because 0 is the minimum value which will guarantee that there will be two distinct element at the output so this was all about the solution to this problem if you have any query any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will answer it as quickly as possible please like my video and subscribe to my channel if you want more such explanation of the contest thank you so much